All right, guys, we're gonna go over a little bit of some of the common pests that we see in strawberries. These are Galetta now. Um, they're just a touch earlier, and you can see they're getting some nice flowers on here. We did have some cold weather to these. We had some uh, 26, 27 degrees, so we did lose a couple of these. Uh, GZ can help with a little bit of cold weather stress protection, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, and obviously, the 8, 16, 42 in the pink bag is what we're feeding right now. In combination with the Elite, the Boron, and the Potassium, and, and uh, Calcium are very important as well. So we go with the foliar program, the drip program. To make sure we uh, know if we're in the correct rate range, we take some leaf tissue tests. So what you want is you want the first fully open leaf. And so you're kind of looking in here, um, the young leaves kind of sprout out of the center and they're sometimes curled, uh, but you want the, the youngest uh, fully open leaf. So this would be a fairly good example. Um, you want to stay away from maybe these real little guys and you want to stay away from these real big guys, but you want that first fully open uh, leaf and you want probably uh, 15 scattered throughout the field. And uh, that'll give you a really, a really good idea. Um, the other issue right now over bloom that we want to make sure we're protecting these flowers with is anthracnose and gray mold starts uh, infection now. And so getting a good fungicide program in place is critical and making sure that we start uh, early in the season and make sure we have a really strong bloom fungicide program in to keep those uh, diseases at bay. They are probably some of the more, uh, I would say, economically dangerous uh, diseases that we have in the Northeast on strawberries, anthracnose and gray mold can really wreak havoc in, in strawberry crops. And making sure you're ahead, uh, not waiting until you see it on the fruit, but you start some spraying now uh, as preventative.